everybody at Broomfield School, my name is Ian and we're currently at the Be Educated Apiary. As you can see I've lit the smoker and that hive there is the one that we're going to go into. Uh, we have two other hives, we've got our shed, Mark, down here is where we're going to have um, all our flowers growing, we've got some trees along there as well. Over there, right in the distance, there is Jen taking in some of the horses. And then we've got some more horses over there. I hope you can see all of this. I'm going to clip you to myself now so that I don't have to carry you. And hopefully you can see everything that I'm doing. So, time to go into the hive. So I'm just going to tell the bees that we're going in. smoke will tell them to go and eat some food and stay calm while the beekeepers come in. Does the bee come out to see us? to the hive. Let's move that smoke, it's getting a bit full. Okay, so we've took the roof and put it on the floor. I'm now going to take... You like cracking that from the mark? Okay, so we're going to open... This is called a crown board. Okay, I'm going to lift that off. Put it... We now have our super which should be full of honey. So, can I borrow this match? Yes. It's a frame rest. I'm going to open this now and find a nice frame that we can bring with us tomorrow. You like holding the smoke mark? It's first frame out and there's very little on that, but it's drawn out ready so that things like pollen honey can be put in there. Let's have a look at the next one. This has got a bit of food there, you can tell when it's food because it's capped. So that is honey inside of there. Let's have a look at the next one. Can we give a little bit of smoke mark? So they'll now go down and eat some honey. And this one is really heavy now because it has a lot of capped honey in it. So I'm going to take one of these. Matt, you want to put that in the observation hive? Oh, I can do it, it's okay. So this is the hive that we're bringing tomorrow. I'm putting that in there, so that's some lovely food for them. That's all ready. I'm going to close this up now. Now unfortunately, the queen that lived in here, we think has passed away. So there should be some signs of them making a new queen. And that's what we're hoping for now. Can you un undo this um, one above the queen excluder? Now the bees stick this super down so that they don't have much draft. Come on, BB. There you go. I don't want to crush any, so I have to be really careful when lifting. Okay, so this is our queen it's good, and what this does is it stops the queen from going up and laying eggs inside of the super. You have to give them a little bit of a smoke mark to tell them to go down and eat some food. Now by moving them out of the way, it means we're less likely to crush anybody. So let's just uncrack this queen excluder. Up a little bit, a bit sticky, and they've got lots of wax on here. 
So as you can see, they've put some mild wax comb onto the queen excluder, which we didn't want them to do, but they have done. There's no queen on here. We don't think there's a queen in the hive at all, but we have to check. Put that on there. Okay, Matt, can I have that blue thing? Cheers. So, now we're looking for the queen, eggs and babies. Now, we think the queen's dead, so that's one less thing to look for. There's very little on that code as a bit of food. Let's look at the next one. A little bit of smoke on them, so it's time to go down. Now this has some food in it, but where the brown bits are, that's where babies have been in the past and have left cocoons in there. See on this one there's some food in the corners but nothing in the middle just the odd bee very little on there so hopefully I'm going to start seeing some babies no babies on there Ah, the bees are busy up here. I wonder what they're doing. It looks like they're putting food in there. It's lots of nectar. So that's probably the side of the actual colony. So the colony doesn't spread across all of the frames. It's just in the middle bits here. So let's have a look at the next one. Ah, now there's something very different on this frame. If I just tell the bees to move out the way... Come on then. Now here is babies. This capped bit here is babies that have been um, into an egg, then into a grub which looks a bit like a maggot, and then into um, a capped cell which then turns into a bee. And on the other side you can see more like that. No sign of any queen or anything on here though. Just all the ladies working, looking after the babies. Come on you. Okay, so on this side there is babies. Which is good. We want babies. Okay. Now these are capped babies. So this means that we've not seen any eggs, but what we have seen is we just turn this round. Can you see here? Keep looking there, there is a queen cell. So this means that once the queen had died. The workers have worried and thought, right, we better make a queen cell. Now, there is actually two queen cells there. Um, there is another one around here. So, at the moment, they're saying that we're making a queen and another one just in case. So, I think this is probably the best one for me to bring and show you tomorrow. In fact, it probably is because there's some babies on there that have hatched as well, which I can show you in detail tomorrow. So I'm going to put this now into the observation hive. Can you move that for me please Mark? Thank you. Okay, that goes in there like that. And now I'm going to get another one, another frame. Give him a little bit of smoke please, Mark. There's lots of babies on here again. I think this is another good example because this one has drone cells on it. And drone cells are the males. So I think they're the best ones for us to take to show you tomorrow. Mark, will you do the honours in them? Put in the glass on top of this for us please. Sorry? 
No, there's no point in putting it scooter. I'll let you um, put that on there gently. And now we will seal up this hive. Now there are some dead bees on the bottom there guys. And I think it's worth us bringing them to you tomorrow. I'm going to close this hive up. Put these together. anybody and we'll put the food back on for them And that's it, the babies, mama bees as they should say, have um, been seen, gone back to sleep for another day or two until we put the bees that we've taken back inside. Let's have a look at the observation hive. So this is what we're bringing to you tomorrow. Okay, well, have fun guys, and 